It's time for the Las Vegas Raiders to start Aiden O'Connell and put Jimmy Garoppolo on the bench. It is the best thing that this organization can do now, and it's the best thing that this organization can do for the long haul. But you know what? I don't know what McDaniels is going to do. Right now as it stands, Jimmy Garoppolo is in the concussion protocol as I am making this video. But let's have a little bit of fun here, okay? Who should start? Week four against the Chargers. If you think it's Jimmy Garoppolo, I want you to type one. If you think Aiden O'Connell should start, type two. If you believe Brian Hoyer should be the starting quarterback for the silver and black, type three. I'm telling you all this right now. If I see any ones, if I see any threes, oh man, we might delete the channel. I want to see nothing but twos down on our live show, down on the segment, because it is Aiden O'Connell time. You got to. You got to give the nation a reason to believe. You got to give the nation a reason to go buy those tickets. You got to give the nation some sort of hope for the future. And it's Aiden O'Connell. You know why? Because it's definitely not Jimmy Garoppolo. And speaking of Garoppolo, he was unable to talk to the media after the Sunday night football loss to the Pittsburgh Steelers. McDaniel spoke a little bit this morning on Monday about the availability of the quarterback. He is in the concussion protocol which means anything can happen. I mean, we saw Devontae last week was in the concussion protocol, ended up playing. Week one, Jacoby Myers was in the protocol, ended up not playing. And I know a lot of people think because Jimmy's not going to be able to go, or I should say if he's unable to go, the conversation now gets brought up. Do you go with Brian Hoyer or do you go with Aiden O'Connell? And McDaniels did not say which direction he would end up going with. He didn't shut the door on going with the rookie out of Purdue. But, like, let me just say this right now. I know all offseason people have been saying, like, oh, the Raiders are tanking, Josh McDaniels is tanking, and me, I hate the idea that people make millions and millions of dollars playing football. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of violence in the game. There's all that. But you're still making millions and millions of dollars. And I can't wrap my mind around the idea of tanking. If Jimmy Garoppolo was unable to go this week, and Josh McDaniels puts Brian Hoyer out there on that field instead of Aiden O'Connell, I'm convinced, and I mean this, I am convinced that this team's trying to tank, and I don't like the idea of telling Raider fans not to go to games because you're an adult and you can do what you want. But I'll tell you this right now, I wouldn't go to a Raiders game if they're going to trot out Brian Hoyer and literally try to lose. But then again, Jimmy Garoppolo's been bad. He right now leads the NFL in interceptions with six, and if you want to make a comparison – the person that's the next closest to him in terms of interceptions is Sam Howell. Garoppolo has been sacked four times, and he's got six interceptions. Sam Howell has got five interceptions, and he's been sacked 19 times. You see the difference there? Jimmy's throwing ducks left and right. Hell, I'm starting to wonder if I should just put a Jimmy Garoppolo duck in every single duck race we do because for the three games, he's just throwing them. Up, they float up there. He's getting his receivers killed. The amount of punts that he's doing by himself is honestly pretty damn impressive. But what's really sad is legitimately, I sat up here on the show, and I said it halfway joking. I think a lot of people agree with me with this. I said I might be able to throw a football further than Jimmy Garoppolo. And the fact that it's even a thought, like even if it's a 1% chance, that's sad. That should never, ever happen. And the problem is I might actually be able to do it because Jimmy Garoppolo arm is the problem. It's the reason why we can't run the ball. It's the reason why we can't stretch the field. Jimmy G is on pace to throw for 34 interceptions and zero completions over 40 yards. It's not quite how you win football games in the NFL. Now, here, y'all, coming up next on the show is why the Raiders have to start Aiden. Like, it is time to go with the rookie, and if you agree with the idea that it's time to bench Jimmy G, and if you agree with the idea that it's time to start Aiden O'Connell, I want you to take a second, hit that subscribe button, Turn on those notifications. That way, every single time we break something down on this show, you do not miss it. But I really, really want you guys to hit that sub button because when Faden starts and we're doing a watch party, oh, it's going to be rocking and it's going to be rolling. Also, huge shout out to our brand new sponsor, y'all. Pat yourself on the back. Anytime we get a new sponsor here on the Raiders Report, it's a huge, huge shout out to y'all. And I am so excited because prize picks is totally changing the game. Daily fantasy sports made easy. Prize picks is the most fun I've had winning up to 25 times my money this football season. You just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and place your entry. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. 
Quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and stat types are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. So at the time I'm recording this video, we got Monday Night Football tonight. And I wanted to show you the three players that I said, you know what? These are the guys I'm riding with. Baker Mayfield, more than 229 and a half passing yards. Which that means then, I'm going to double down here with Mike Evans. Give me 55 and a half more receiving yards. And Joe Burrow, the status is unknown. Jamar Chase, less than 73 and a half receiving yards. And if you want to play as well, go right there. You see that link? Click on that bad boy. Coop's going to throw that down in the comments, and it's going to be in the description of today's show. I've been playing prize picks recently, and I have no idea why I waited so long. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Shout out to prize picks for sponsoring the Raiders Port. Really excited because, man, I've been using them for a long time, and the fact that they're actually on the show, totally, totally full circle, and it's a big reason why well, I love y'all, because you're helping this thing grow. All right, it's time to start Aiden O'Connell. I'm going to give you five reasons. The number one reason, Jimmy Garoppolo and Brian Hoyer, I try to think of the nicest way I could say this, they suck. I mean, they're bad. I remember watching Brian Hoyer in the preseason, and I was like, holy shit. I get it. You want to have him out there in the practice. You want to have him you know, during preseason. You, you want to have your player coach. Brian Hoyer is not a top 50 quarterback in the NFL. And then you got Jimmy Garoppolo right now. Oh, his arm, Brian Hoyer looks like he throws, from a baseball term, 95-mile-an-hour fastballs, and Jimmy Garoppolo sitting at 85 right now. Imagine in the MLB a, a, a professional pitcher throwing 85. That's what Jimmy Garoppolo's doing. And because they can't stretch the field, teams just stack the box, and they take away everything. He doesn't have the arm strength to throw it outside the numbers. Between the numbers, all day, he can do it. But outside of that, man, it's, it's a really vanilla offense with a very vanilla quarterback, and you can thank your guy, Josh McDaniels. The next thing is this. The offense, it's offensive. Watching this team play three games in a row and thinking about how much money they invested, how much draft capital they invested on the offensive side of the ball, and yet uh, we're dealing with what we're dealing with here. Like, I don't understand. We heard all this, oh, we're going to do pre-snap motion. Has anybody seen any pre-snap motion from Trey Tucker? I know I haven't. I feel like it's, we're lining up. Hike. All right, let's try to get five or six yards here. Or, oh, we're going to run with eight guys in the box. Let's hope to get two or three. Josh Jacobs led the NFL in rushing yards last season with 1,653. The Raiders are dead last in the NFL with rushing yards per game at 61 and a .7. If you take away the Trey Tucker run of 34 yards, we're not even close to the next team that's second to last. And, like, this is embarrassing. Passing yards, you got Jacoby Myers and Devontae Adams. Total yards per game, 25th. Points per game, tied for 29th. You have an offensive guru who spent all this money, free agency draft, and this is the product that we have. What's the excuse now, McDaniels? You got your QB, and this is the product that's on the field. It's atrocious. The next thing, you got to see what Aiden O'Connell has. Not only to give your fan base a little bit of hope here, because at this point, I really do think that Aiden O'Connell is a better option for the Raiders just for the simple fact that he is going to scare defenses who O'Connell doesn't even have that great of a deep ball. But I know this, it's a lot better than Jimmy Garoppolo's deep ball. And if you have the ability to at least throw it 40 yards... Defenses aren't going to be able to stack the box. It's going to then open it up a little bit for Josh Jacobs. It's going to open it up a little bit for Jacoby, Hunter Renfro, which I don't even know if he's still on the team anymore at this point. But O'Connell in the preseason, I know it's just the preseason. 26-36, 304 yards, three touchdowns. But I'm a big eye test person. And any single person that has a pulse that watched the Raiders during the preseason, did Aiden O'Connell pass the eye test, yes or no? The answer is yes. He looked the part. He was able to execute the offense. And sure, he's going up against preseason defenders. We'll call it what it is. But he's also throwing to Keelan Cole, Christian Wilkerson. Imagine what he could do with Jacoby. 
Hunter Renfro, Michael Mayer, maybe Austin Hooper. Oh, yeah, this guy named Devontae Adams. I want to see what you have in Aiden O'Connell because you have to do that for your fan base. You have to see if this rookie is going to be your quarterback for the future because I, I know this. It's not Jimmy Garoppolo. It's not Brian Hoyer. And if it's not Aiden O'Connell, well, then luckily the 2024 quarterback draft class is deep and then you can go find your QB because if I was Mark Davis, I would say, all right, McDaniels, you wanted Jimmy Garoppolo. It's not working. Now you go with Aiden O'Connell. You were able to get your quarterback in free agency. It didn't work. Check. All right, let's go to the next one. You got your quarterback in the draft, Aiden O'Connell. That's not looking like it's going to work either. Fire him, and now you go get a brand new head coach. It's probably going to have a high draft pick, and then you have the opportunity to have a brand new head coach go get his quarterback. That is the most sensible thing that this Raiders organization could do, which probably means Mark Davis will say, trot out Brian Hoyer for the remainder of the season. So here's right now the 2024 quarterback draft class, and it's not ranked in any particular order. It's just some of the names out there. I'll be real with you, though. like The names that there's a clear tear break for me, Caleb Williams, Drake May are the top two. Then I like Michael Penix Jr. I, uh, we got Coop over here. He's a big Texas guy. I was so out on Quinn Ewers. The amount of growth that he has just done in terms of his growing up as a human, Quinn Ewers is definitely another name to keep in mind. And then to me, there is a huge tear break. I don't know if Shador Sanders is going to come out. I don't really look at him as a ready-to-go NFL quarterback right away. J.J. McCarthy's got some talent. Bo Nix is just Mr. Checkdown. Spencer Rattler has tons and tons of talent, but he seems like a knucklehead to me. Jaden Daniels, good athlete, and I need to watch a little bit more tape on Riley Leonard, though I've heard some good things about him. But to me, the only quarterbacks that really make me excited, Ewers, Penix Jr., Drake May, and Caleb Williams. And they're all better than Aiden O'Connell. But the only way that you're going to be able to find that out is if you play the rookie. Let's go to the last one. And this is probably the reason why, if anything, McDaniels would do it. If Aiden O'Connell proves to be the guy, he saves his job. Because right now, the way that this thing is trending, if the Raiders go seven, you win seven games with Jimmy Garoppolo, there's a chance. There's a chance that he doesn't come back. There's a chance. I I still think that they end up keeping him because that's what they want to do. But if Aiden O'Connell, if the Raiders go 7-10 and 10 and Aiden O'Connell looks the part, like, you're like, all right, this kid can do it. He keeps his job. And from what I have seen, McDaniels cares more about his personal image because he can't admit that he did stuff wrong. He's always that person's fault, that person's fault, that person's fault. He's the king of deflection, which if I was a Raiders player and I heard what he has said in the last 24 hours – I would be very, very upset with my head coach, but that's just me. But McDaniels can save his job if Aiden O'Connell proves to be the Raiders' future quarterback, which to me is probably what he cares about. So here we go. Here's the multi-million dollar question to every single person watching this live and every single person that's going to watch this on a later date. Is it time to start Aiden O'Connell? Give me a Y for yes. Give me an N for no. If you're going to type your N for no, that's totally fine. The show is about giving people a voice. All I ask that you do, even if you type your yes, I think the yes is a little bit more clear, but if you're typing your end for no, all I ask is tell me why. That way when I'm going through the comments and I'm looking at them, I can see what you have to say. Because to me, it is clear as day, it is time to go with Aiden O'Connell. It's time to go with him because you gotta give your fan base something to hope for, for this year and for the future. If all we're doing is just simply saying that Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be what we do time and time and time again, it's going to be a long, long year. I don't want to just focus on 2023. Yeah, obviously I want to win football games. But to me, Ann O'Connell gives you a better shot winning right now, and he gives you a better shot of hopefully having a successful future down the road. That is why it is time for the Raiders to put Jimmy Garoppolo on the bench, put Brian Hoyer in a retirement home, and time to get Aiden O'Connell some starting reps there for the Las Vegas Raiders.